situation. Video Matt and Max hanging outside the Grand Ballroom. How's it going? Uh, it's going great, man. Fucking we're in San Francisco right now, and uh, the tour's awesome, man. I'm stoked. Right on. I was in there with the sound guy, and then I bumped into your tour manager, and then you got a text right when I bumped into you saying you want to yep. do an interview. It's just weird how things work out, huh? It is, dude. Fate. Fate. Almost, I, I was going to say, you know? can't escape this. <laughs> But right on, so you're on tour with Silverstein and Chiodos. It got to be kind of yeah. overwhelming at times to stand on the side of the stage, watch the guys perform, or even play the stage. Um, perform. Yeah, it's fucking great, man. Like, uh, I was uh, I was listening to Silverstein, uh, you know, before the band even, before Skate the Fate even started, I was listening to Silverstein when their first album was out. And uh, it's cool to be on, it's cool to, like, you know, get to know those guys and be like, oh, it's, you know, it's always cool, like, when you go on tour with the band and get to hang out with them, and be like, oh, I used to jam to you guys, you know, back in the day. And, just being on, then being on tour with Chiodos is just, I mean, fucking insane. I mean, those guys, if you want to talk about, like, real musicians in a tight show, you're talking about Chiodos, man. Those guys are fucking, they got it going on. But, I mean, it has to hype you guys up as well, seeing their show, and then you guys playing. So much energy involved, probably, on this tour mm. of all these bands. Oh, my God, yeah. I mean, I, I'd really like to say, like, uh, all the kids that are come, that have bought tickets to this this tour, I mean, they're definitely getting their money's worth, man. This this is a really great tour. I mean, I've been on a lot of them, but, I mean, this is definitely one of my favorites. And it's I'm, I'm not just saying that shit because I'm on the tour either, yeah. you know? So. I know, it's been, I mean, this had to happen sooner or later because I've been hearing a lot of stuff about Escape the Fate. So, fill me in. What have what you guys been up to? What have you guys been doing? Any releases of albums coming up? Already been um, out? Yeah, uh, we, uh, we've had a year off. Or we had a year off. This is our first tour back. Uh, we did a little run in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, a couple months ago, but this is our first actual real tour with our new singer Craig Mabbitt. And uh, we uh, were in the studio a little while ago also working with a producer named John Feldman, and uh, who did like The Used and Atreyu and did uh, Story of the Years first album. And uh, he did our album uh, called This War Is Ours. It actually drops today. It's officially out in stores Go now. Get Go get Escape the Fate's new album right now. This Everybody, <laughs> people are looking at me like I'm crazy. But yeah. seriously, go get it. Damn, that's awesome, dude. And yeah. This guy who helped you produce your album, who's worked with Story of the Year and all these other bands oh. that, you know, eight years ago paved the way, you know, for bands like yourself and stuff. That's pretty cool. It's like, amazing. Dude, uh, like, no joke, before, uh, when we first started Escape the Fate, we were just, you know, still local boys, you know, playing in my drummer's garage. Literally, I, I, can, I still can remember saying, like, you know what, dude, if we ever get signed one day, I want to work with John Feldman. Like, I will work with John Feldman. That was literally, he's my dream producer. And we got the opportunity That's to work sick. with them on, you know, our new album, This War Is Ours, and it's just, uh, just fucking amazing, man. Like, a killer. See this goal that you had, and you kind of went for it, and you, you went and did it, and it just goes to show you. I mean, you can, people out there living your dreams, go go strive. Were there people telling you that you couldn't do this, or you, you're from a small a, town? I don't know. What, yeah, a, a lot of people, actually. I mean, like, you know, I mean, I'm, I mean, you know, my, my parents always been really supportive, or, I mean, my mom, and, uh, I mean, you know, I mean, but you know, my mom even used to say, like, you know, what about Plan B? What are you gonna do? You should go to college and this and that. I'm like, you know, if I got a Plan B, then I, I didn't put enough, you know, Set time into Plan A. Yeah. yeah, you know, yeah. I always tell the kids, like, you know, a lot of kids will come up to me and say, like, you know, oh, you have any advice for, you know, any, any expiring young musicians and stuff like that? And I'll just tell them, like, listen, dude, you have no idea where life's gonna take you, man. Like, I, I always hoped and dreamed that, you know, I could be that guy on stage, you know, playing for fans and get to meet people afterwards, and I never really thought it would happen, like, I hoped it would, but, you know, I mean, just because to show you, I mean, it happened to me, dude, all you gotta do is fucking try, dude, never give up. That's sick, see? Doing a freestyle off Tech 9 one day, and then chill off Max and escape the fate the other. I just fulfill your dreams, you never know what's gonna happen to you. Yeah. Max, thanks so much, dude, have a great set tonight, and we're gonna meet up down the road. It's gonna be a lot of escape Sounds the fake. Great. Can't escape it. <laughs>